Hey guys, Dr. John Russin here. We are going over a relative strength test for the squat pattern. So we have coach Tyler Grimm here and we're gonna be going through 25 repetitions with 50% of his body weight in his hands in a goblet position. So you can use either a kettlebell or a dumbbell like we have here. Tyler's about 200 pounds, he's got a 100 pound dumbbell here and we are looking at hitting 25 repetitions, getting around parallel with the hip crease and keeping a good spinal position. So not only are we looking at the ability to actually hit the reps here, but we wanna look at the default pattern that if somebody can hit 25 reps, we wanna know why, what's the weak link? So we're gonna have Tyler set up here. He's gonna go through as many goblet squats as he can get with 50% of the body weight in hands, and then we're gonna break it down after. Ten reps. Twenty reps. Okay, we'll stop you here. Even though he could keep on going, he could relax the weights down. I was monitoring the entire time the spinal position here to make sure that he wasn't rounding over, putting his back into a vulnerable position. Also, the hip depth, getting around parallel, and really just seeing what his default pattern was. You know, Tyler's a good coach here. He has a lot of capacity with metabolic stress, so he was able to get those 25 reps pretty easily. But you want to test people up to the point where they start presenting with just enough default where you can identify a weak link. So 50% of body weight in the hand, you can knock out 25 reps, go in, that qualifies you for barbell training. If not, we really want to solidify this foundational movement pattern with the barbell, with the goblet squat.